Hey guys, we got a bunch of new merch right now. Go to store.ymhstudios.com and get that hot new gear. So first of all, when somebody does not find you attractive, they will do this. So when you're hugging them and the hug needs to come to an end, they will give you something called the pity pat on your back. So they will pat your back like this. You know who gives me the pity pat? Who? You. <laughs> We are supported by Stamps.com. Think about all the things you could do with a little extra time and money. Could you go on a trip? Sure. Could you go buy lunch at a place that, you know, you love to eat at? Of course. Could you go shopping for a new sofa? You could because you have extra time and extra money. Are you still going to the post office paying full price for postage? Well, thanks to Stamps.com. You don't have to do that anymore. Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters, ship packages, and pay less, a lot less, with discounted rates from USPS, UPS, and more. Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money every year. Stop wasting time going to the post office and go to Stamps.com instead. There's no risk, and our promo code MOM, you'll get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in mom. That's stamps.com. Enter the promo code mom. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. Guys, head on over to Satva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com, and get yourself the mattress you deserve to sleep on. You deserve high-quality sleep on a high-quality product that's in mind really friendly and also super comfortable. And they have a wide range of products. So whatever your preference is when it comes to mattresses, they can take care of you. You can get the Sattva luxury firm mattress that you find at a five-star hotel. If you prefer memory foam, that line is called Loom and Leaf. And if you want the mattress that moves up and down, sits up, has the legs go up, zero gravity setting, vibrates you to sleep, that's called Solaire. It's all at Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com. If you go to Sattva dot com slash the shit, you'll get $200 off any mattress of your choice. Again, this is incredible, incredible products made by a company that believes in giving you incredible customer service, mattress takeaway service. They have it all. Sattva.com, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get started right now. First you gotta have a career. Ambition. You gotta send her flowers on a Tuesday. throwback <laughs> hashtag stop asian hate so <laughs> that's a throwback yeah. that's a good one uh i don't know who made that i actually have no idea who made that that um, was it's such a delightful number uh, yeah. i like the timing on that number i like the message i like uh uh, everything is just yeah. really good it's really cool stick yeah. your dick in the wrong hole stick now, your dick in the wrong is she hole. meaning that stick your dick in the wrong hole like she put you put it in the butt in the stink instead of the pink well yeah i mean it's a it's or a, in the wrong hoe as in a different person uh i think hole uh-oh is think, this another oh boy uh-oh home here now oh or is it a boy. homie on out yeah. guys i think i heard her say ho stick your dick in the wrong hoe well it sounds like ho, ho but it's hole but she's got but she put a little swag on hole she doesn't go stick your dick in the wrong hole <laughs> she goes stick your dick in the wrong hoe <laughs> 
That's how she said it, you know. Stick your dick in the wrong hole. Yeah, stick hoes it. don't hoes don't talk like that. <laughs> they don't say you don't want to stick your dick in the wrong hole. You've been giving me so much shit for my hoe flip flops. <laughs> your hoe slides. Yeah, the whole I know. time I so wear them. You're done shooting all your scenes. You put your fucking slides on. Go home. Did <laughs> uh, three fucking BBG BBs today. What? Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. <laughs> I put these on, and man, you give me so much shit. But I gotta say, <laughs> these are so comfortable. Yeah, that's why hoes wear them. Damn. Like I th- hoes take off their heels, and they're uh, like, I need a fucking break. Bro, like I thought I had a slide sandal before. Yeah. I did not have one until I purchased this. Adidas does it right, huh? Do they do everything right, except for their fucking advertising with armpit chicks, <laughs> fat chicks. Everything else is cool. Yeah. I'm not about it. All right. Uh, let me help you out. You're going to be in Chomaha, Nebraska, <laughs> June 3rd, 4th, and 5th. Then you're going to Salt Lake City, June 11 and 12. Teams. And then you're in San Antonio, LOL, July 15, <laughs> 16, and 17, over to Liberty Township, July 22nd through the 24th. That's in Ohio. Columbus, August 12th. 13 and 14 at the Funny Bone there. Oklahoma City, Bricktown, September 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And then you're in Indianapolis in October. All tickets are at Christina P. Online. More dates coming. I've got a big one to announce. I have my shows in Espanol. That's great. They're moving. I have to tell you, I, uh, I have moved my Greensboro dates to August. Um, but the big, big announcement is that i will be in las vegas <gasps> las vegas is open oh and, and your boy is going to be there back at the mirage at the terry fator theater i'll be there july two and three thompsonguerra.com for tickets for all tickets that's really exciting that vegas is open vegas july baby. two and three and i'm going back there i have my my uh, whatever residency contract so back exciting. so i'll be back uh, five more times over the next uh, year. Now, so. what can we call Las Vegas? Is it mom's? We can just stick Vegas? to Las Vegas. No, that's not what we do on this Vegas? show. Vegas. Vegas, baby. Vegas, baby. <laughs> 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 you going to get faded, you going to walk around with a three foot long. You know what hoes do in chain? Vegas, right? They keep their slides in their purse because they get tired walking around. They're not used to walking like down the boulevard, Where going into at? clubs, and they're like, oh. <laughs> and then you see the hose pull their hose slides out, and they walk around with their heels. Or if they're not prepared, if they're new hose, they just walk around barefoot. <laughs> yes, I've seen that. And you're like, ugh. You're walking around Las <laughs> Vegas Boulevard barefoot? Jesus. That's how you're a real fucking hoe. Yeah, that's you a think? new hoe. The experienced hoes. That's right. Have, at least keep like a... Like petty sandals in your purse, so you get something, you know, protect yourself. The twenty-one-year-old new hoe is the one walking around barefoot. Barefoot, yeah. bad casino. move. You don't yeah. want to be barefoot in Las Vegas. <laughs> How do you know so much about hoes? Is really what I'm curious about. Mm, read a lot of books. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's open the show. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Well, I do math. I do it every day. I'm doing nine to five, get out of my way. Well, I do math. <laughs> Do it all the time. <laughs> that side yours and this side mine. I'm up on the highway holding my sign. He says I'm homeless and I'm hungry too. You Jesus. better watch out, it can happen to you. Looks like he's on a charter bus. Who is right? What are you in right now? Bring anyone mother to this. Your mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. With Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Getting more range in this hand. It's coming back slowly. I see that. You're doing so well. Yeah. 
You're doing really, you're doing good. Fuck. Doing good. Starting to jerk off with this hand. Is that right? Fun things are happening. Yep. Awesome. So I can, at least I can switch it up. I can do like the one, two. <laughs> or, you know, I can cut my balls with this hand. It's pretty good. Would you like to introduce our guest? Yeah, you guys. Um, I'm very excited to introduce this next guest. You've seen her um, doing absolutely nothing around our house. Please welcome Bitsy. Uh, it would be a little more appropriate if you would sit up and take this seriously. God. She doesn't even care. You already slept like fucking 15 hours. <laughs> I get, I have uh, the whistle on her, you know, because she runs mm-hmm. away constantly. Yeah. And um, it'll tell me how many, how much she sleeps. It's pretty much all day. Yeah. There's not a lot of activity. Then you take her on a walk and she's like, the fuck's going on? <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Bitsy. We took you on a walk yesterday and you did well. You did really well. And then you slept the rest of the day and all night. <laughs> yeah. Do you think she'll talk? Ask her. Ask her a question. Hey, Schnitzel. Yeah. Bitsy. Mm-hmm. Uh, we noticed um, yesterday you chose. Oh, that was it, huh? What's up, bitch? God, you just. You looked at me and I started talking and then you laid right back down again. I'm tired. Okay. Tired from what? From exercise. You don't exercise, Betsy. We take you out for five minutes and you're, you want to sit down. That's 50 miles when you have little legs. Betsy, I noticed yesterday you, instead of going outside to poop, you decided to poop right in front of the door, even though the door was open. Mm-hmm. What was that decision all about? That was so that you have to pick up the shit. But <laughs> is that what you prefer? Yeah. Because <laughs> then I shit near your stuff. Why do you shit near my stuff? I hate when you do that. To keep you on your toes. <laughs> Bitsy. <laughs> is, that, is that the same when you get diarrhea at two in the morning? Yeah, that's to make you do exercise. <laughs> Trying to help. Remember when you were a puppy mm-hmm. and then you'd shit and then you'd step in your own shit every morning? Yeah, I like baths. Did you, you did it on purpose so that your dad and I would have to bathe you? And so you'd be tired all day like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I remember that too, Bitsy. Yeah. Hey, take a nap, okay? Well, I have one more question, Bits. Mm-hmm. Remember when the Goodyear blimp was in, in front of our house and you just barked at it for like uh, four hours straight? Yeah. What did you think was going on? I was sending it signals. Sending it signals? Yeah. Like About what? Just where to fly. Okay. <laughs> Coordinates. Okay. I'm pilot. I'm pilot trained. Oh, are you Captain Marcel? I am Captain Marcel. I got to go get my sister down by the mountain. You know what's pretty amazing is that yeah. Bit, Bitsy responds to any variant of her name. We've been calling her Bisky. Bisky. See? Yep. <laughs> and then we also call her Captain Marcel. Hey, Captain Marcel. Captain. <laughs> Captain Marcel. <laughs> She's too tired. She knows we're fucking with her. Mega. <laughs> Mega. <laughs> mega. As in mega. She's a mega talk. <laughs> She's fully TikTok to the max. <laughs> she really is the, the dumbest but sweetest dog. The sweetest, dumbest. <laughs> like, you know, like there's people like that where you're like, oh, they're really dumb, but they're so nice. <laughs> like, to And the- people pretend that they're fun to have around. <laughs> <laughs> She literally, I mean, she shits like within just inches of where she's supposed to. All the time. She does shit on pavement, which is pretty amazing for a dog. Yeah. yeah. Not very often. We're very lucky in that regard. Well, I think she's done enough for today. I think we should let her have her peace now. Good night, bitch. We'll go back to you later once you're ready to talk. Okay? Get your rest. Um, Yeah. Look what I spy with my little eye. Block watch. Somebody asked me if I'm autistic. I'm autistic as shit. (laughs) <laughs> i think i watched this 20 times this dude puts out crazy content i know i follow him yeah i mean this is so fucking funny a lot of like <laughs> autistic as shit you know um theories 
yeah. that uh, that you didn't know about that yes. have yet to be proven. But he, uh, yeah. yeah, diet advice, um, nutrition. <laughs> it's so funny. Can I hear it one more time? Geopolitical I've, yeah, analysis. He's, he's out of his fucking mind. Look what I spy with my little eye. Block watch. Somebody asked me if I'm autistic. I'm autistic as shit. You like that? <laughs> well, I, I like that <laughs> he's got self-awareness. Yeah. And I like that he allows us to laugh at it. Yeah. And I don't know that he's normally like that, though. I think no. it's just kind of a moment. I don't think that he thinks it's that. He doesn't usually admit to it. Yeah. I've always been like, what is up with that guy? I'm autistic as shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But now I know what's up with that guy. Mm -hmm. You know? There's more than, I think, yeah. than that that's yeah. up with him. Yeah. There's a lot that's up with it. <laughs> yeah. But speaking of um, being talked, I have something so amazing. You told me, you're like, I'm not going to tell you ahead of time. Yeah. But I have something to tell you. Something that you're going to love making fun of me for. Okay. And I'm so, f I'm like embarrassed to share it, but I'm going to for okay. the, the service, the quality of our show. <laughs> okay. And I think I owe it to you. I just owe it to you guys. So I'm going to stand up live. Um, in Fartnicks, great shows, uh -huh. great club. They have really good food. One of the few clubs I would argue in the country I ever order anything remotely dicey from, right? Dicey meaning seafood or a steak or whatever. Like, it's so good. So Chase O'Donnell, my very funny opener, she's there and she's pescatarian. So she doesn't mm -hmm. eat anything, right? So she, she goes, I'll have the surf and turf, but no turf. And so the guy goes, oh, so you want the, you know, the shrimp and not the steak. And my head exploded. Danny, the waiter, shout out to Danny, the waiter at Stand Up Live. He goes, yeah, that's what surf and turf, the turf is, is the steak. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, well, 44 years. And I did not put this together. Wait, what did you think it was? <laughs> <laughs> what did you think it was? I don't know. I was like... Like I understood. You know that surf is okay. in the water. Okay, again, so I understood surf. I was like surf, but then turf, I always thought. Like turf is grass. I didn't right. know that that's what that word meant. I thought that turf meant dirt. So in well, my head, I was like, why, why, what do you mean surf and dirt? So I would just ignore the second part of it. And I'd be like, I get the surf part. I don't get the turf part. <laughs> yeah, you're smart, but all sales are final. I was like, to me, by oh the way, God. that one is not as crazy as we have a a a cabinet that has the <laughs> magnetic unlock. Oh thing. my gosh! So, <laughs> so you're not gonna bring this up. <laughs> so they put a they put a cabinet in my office, and they're Shit. like, it auto locks, and then it gives you like a little magnet <laughs> to because like you put it over the the area on the outside, and then it opens it right. So there was something in there and then Christina has it in her hand. So I'm like, oh, okay. She opened it. And then I go and I notice that the magnet is like really far back. And I'm like, that's weird that she would use it and put it like behind everything instead of like in the front. So I just ask her, I'm like, hey, um, how did you open this? And she goes like this. And she puts her hands on the door and she goes, Arr! and she yanks it open. And I was like, have you been doing that this whole time? She's like, yeah. And I go, why don't you use the magnet? She's like, what magnet? More, longer, for nine or nine, ten months. She's been no, doing. I've been doing it for a year. a year. We lived in the house for a year. And I hide. And my, I was like. I hide toys in there for the kids. I go, you yank this open every time? Every single time. I rip it open. And you watch me do it. The best part is I go, uh, and then you go, uh, brute force. I'm like. <laughs> I go, you just go like this. And I put the magnet, it goes, Thick. And it opens. I'm like, just like that. She's like, oh, I didn't know that. I've never, have you ever seen a magnet open? Bruh, like, I'm straight Euro trash. We didn't have anything like that. Oh my God. But I felt so fucking stupid. So it's nice to know how safe that thing is, too. You know? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I just rip just it open. Yank it open. Yeah. But shout out to Danny, uh, Stand Up Live, for explaining surf and turf. Two, two big things happened in the last couple of weeks. You understand what turf is and how <laughs> magnets work. I did not know turf meant grass. I did not. That's what turf is. No yeah. turf. Never was heard grass. like astroturf. I did, but I know that's artificial. Artificial what? Turf grass. Right. Meaning, I just thought it was yeah. like the whole thing meant fake, fake, fake grass, fake grass. Right. Turf. 
What do you think is dumber? Me not knowing smart and final or the surf and turf? Turf and turf. Turf and turf? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But why won't they just call it steak and shrimp? It's, it rhymes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. just a marketing what thing. About- you want some surf and turf? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I know. Fully so, talked over. So fucking stupid. Yep. Oh, God. It was so much fun. Not as bad as the smart and final. I was like that. That one really blew my mind too, because I was like, "What are they selling there?" I thought it was all like last, last, last um, yeah, looks items. Yeah, you're like, smart, but yeah, yeah. all sales are final. Yeah, <laughs> that's the motto at smart and final. <laughs> but they sell. You know what's that word I'm looking for? Like last time items, clearance items. Yeah, or, like yeah, it was all clearance, yeah. or and that's smart and final. That's it. Yeah, you're smart for shopping here but you got to keep everything you buy. <laughs> that is exactly what I thought, smart final man. <laughs> no returns. Yeah, you're smart, but all sales are final. <laughs> yeah, you're smart. And that's why I never went in there mm-hmm. because I was like, God, it's final. What if I wanted to return something? <laughs> and you know when you have a thought so stupid, yeah. but it's not even conscious. Like yeah. that was such an unconscious dumb thought that yeah. when I brought it to the fore the foreground in my mind, I was like, Oh, that's what I think about that. Same with surf and turf. I was like, I don't know, surf and something else. I don't I just kinda I stopped the thought. <sighs> oh fuck. Yeah. <sighs> oh, oh, and one. like El Torito. Did you know it's the little little bull? Yeah, you taught me that. Spanish for the See? Any El Torito. Is, is the little bull. The little bull. That's what El Torito is. It's an actual Spanish word. Did you know that? Like, did you think about... Yeah. Uh, I got a real... <laughs> Jesus Christ. I got a... I got a good one for you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm autistic as shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's never not a good time to discover a new this is america right oh, that's no. <laughs> i fucking can't get He's enough he just such, lost your life such an um, asshole such an asshole we catch him uh, on a date he's on a date no and this video has it all no it has confrontation it has racism <laughs> it has <laughs> the threat Check. of police Check. it has uh foot fetish it has everything ready here we go. You want to get what? You want to step outside? Step out. Do some stupid shit. You're going to go to prison there, brother. He's a service animal. Here's his paperwork right here, ma'am. Okay. I don't even need to see that. Like, okay. Well, he's, 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 he's trying to fight. I'd like to get the cops called on his Mexican ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is he even Mexican? Uh, that, that guy might be. Um, mm. So just out of the gate, the guy said something. Yeah. He's like, you, <laughs> you want to step outside? Uh, these are papers. For sure, those are not no. the papers. He's just like, here's some papers. Well, he goes, my animal is a service animal. Yeah, no, so it's not. There's no way. It's not yeah. a service animal. Those aren't papers. For, but he's no. he's smart that he has papers. Because the lady's like, I don't even need to see it. She can't request. You can't yeah. say, show me your papers. You know, your, it's, pu- it's your papers. Federal law, at least at the time. So. Oh my so gosh. then he's like, Mexican ass. <laughs> so here we go. And legally, I, would, I wouldn't mind getting the cops down here and having a talk with him. These guys are trying to pick a fight. And so he, they put those people in prison around here. Okay. Like Especially around me. So I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm illegal. I have no paper. Yeah? Okay. I have illegal. I have no paper. Good. Good. I'm illegal. I'm Mexican. I don't want to talk to you, okay? Do you understand that? You're on record there. Do you understand that? Huh? Beat it. You're not going to have any problems. No, we're not. He's going to go to prison, though, real quick. He screws around. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thank you very much. That guy, I thought the guy made a joke. Like, I have my papers. I'm not illegal. I thought that's what he said, right? And then, yeah. That's what we were like, I'm going to call the police. We're going to go to prison. <laughs> ah, got real fucking fired up. And, um, wants to call the cops, wants this to get escalated. That's yeah. the way to go. What yeah. was it? Yeah. What was um Dr. Drew's thing? People on cocaine run, run from, from the, the police. People on meth <laughs> run towards them. So he's it's, like, get those police and, here. And that's now. a handy way for you when you're watching your vids to gauge what's going on there. Mm-hmm. Just to keep that in your pocket. I mean, because if you think about the way that someone like this lives and how many probably open warrants he has, 
and to always be like, let's get the cops involved. You know, oh <laughs> it's like, it's like, uh, right. why? Well, why? that's, that's my question now is like, was there no recourse to just have him locked up longer? Yeah. He, I think he probably was a persistent nuisance to society. That's the thing though. What was he breaking laws constantly? Well, he, he was, was a nuisance. He was, he was, a, was nuisance. a real knucklehead, <laughs> but did he break laws? I think they were probably like, I wish we had something to throw this guy away for. Math. Like, they can't catch drugs on him. I mean, I'm Shit. sure he. I'm sure he got arrested a few times for that, but wasn't enough. You Check know? the car. There's drugs. See ya. Me na 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 na. Me na 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 na. See ya na na. I think that's Hispanic. Me na 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 na. Beaner. Wow. <laughs> Dropped a, a slur. Kind of. Now you want to take it all the way to home base here? This is the, <laughs> final, the final step. <laughs> <laughs> is that funny? God, I love your toenails. Where are your toenails? Uh, time to go home. I should step out and beat his ass anyways. There was a lady with him. That's what you didn't know the whole time. So he was like, okay, hold on. We were watching a nature doc. Let's process this this whole thing. Yeah, it's like we were watching a nature documentary explaining that peacocks, male peacocks, show their plumage. They fan the tail to show the mate. Mm -hmm. This is his plumage. He is. He's He's showing her what's up. Yeah. He's presenting. Yeah. Yeah. God, I love your toenails. Yeah. (laughs) Beaner. So, yeah. (laughs) Got it all. I mean. Does that yeah. that's a minute 45 and it has so much. I mean really, confrontation, escalation, request the police are here. I have a, a service dog. These are his papers. I should beat his ass. You've got nice toes. And, <laughs> so much in that clip. And a beaner. I haven't heard yeah, that. Yeah, no, word you haven't heard that in a long while. time. That's yeah. an old school slur. Yeah, yeah, it really is. I'd like to get the cops called on his Mexican ass. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And it's a McDonald's. Da, yeah. Da, 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 da. Well, he's on a date. I mean, what, do you, what the fuck? <laughs> I was on a date at McDonald's. He's on a date. And he's always like, you're on record, you know? I Ooh. love that he tells people that. Like like he's a federal agent. You're on, you're on record there. Do you understand that? <laughs> <laughs> you understand that? Grinding through the teeth. You understand that? Yeah. What do you think the woman's got to be like to be with him? She's got to be even crazier. It's, I'll tell you this. It's pretty Jeez. crazy that she has a pedicure. <laughs> I know. I would not expect that Fed Smoker would like would bag a lady who's like, I got my nails done today. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I don't think that uh, that's. God damn. Know. I wouldn't. Ex- you're right. Like the wherewithal to have a pedicure. But yeah. she's got host slides on, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of. Sorry, I'm still in shock. That was really. Yeah, it was something. Amazing. Okay, yeah. go ahead. Well, just speaking of footwear, you have uh, pointed out that you have some oh my unacceptable God. footwear. So in my travels, you know, the world is coming back and I'm so thrilled. I've been noticing an ex- unacceptable mm-hmm. male footwear, especially yeah. as it's heated up now in L.A. Uh, so here's some bangers. Oh, my God. You saw the, is this from the wild? This oh, is in person? this is in the wild. This Oof. is, um, I was boarding an airplane this man, those look like the spikes from, not Louboutin, what's that brand? Come mm. on, the famous brand that incorporates the spikes. I don't know. I don't know. It's a very designer brand. Okay. Anyway, that, those are designer. Designer. And those are spikes. Spiky slides. Yeah. Also on a man, Jesus. That's what I'm saying. Get now, guys, is, it, is that fashionable or is it unacceptable? I'm going to go with any on this. Any? Uh, I mean, usually I'm like, just do what what you feel. But I mean, homie, <laughs> the spikes, bro. Yeah. That's that's yeah. a little much. I'm gonna have to say unacceptable. Yeah. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Gross. Unacceptable. I mean, that's and that I I have Is never. Is it because it's like it's too fashionable? For yes. You? Yeah. And I'll tell you, those are expensive. Those are like a thousand dollars at least to get these this fancy. What's the fucking brand? Now I'm going crazy. Uh, and that's it. Christian, it's Louboutin. Okay. Christian, wait, Louboutins or Spike? I don't know. Those kind of look like them underneath there. Slide down. Down, down, scroll down. down, down. Isn't that them right there? Kind of looks like them. Yeah, those are them. Those are them. Sort of them. Well, no, those are flatter. These have a bigger cushion. You know, the sole is bigger on these that's than the ones you saw. Louboutin. 
Anyway, it's um, so fucking gross. What is there? There's Prada. Nem, there's... No, it's not Louboutins. Those kind of look like them right there to the right. Yeah, those yeah. are Steve Madden's. Yeah. Those right there are very similar looking. What are those? Who made those? Do me a favor, Nadav. Yeah. Google spiky designer handbag. Oh, okay. And then I'll, you'll I'll know who this, this is. This is the way to find out. I'm going insane. You're going insane. Oh, those look like them. Them. Down. No. Down. Down. Do, do, do. Oh, that's it. Valentino. Right. There you go. There, I'm going crazy. Valentino. Okay. Valentino. So that means this fool spent at look least a thousand dollars. Sandals. So this is, and I'm going to preface this by saying, this is an L.A. guy. This flight was out of L.A. These are Valentinos. Yeah. Don't do spiky. Just do Valentino sandals. Men's. 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 So, like, the L.A. male is a little different than the rest of the world. <laughs> the L.A. male. Yeah. This is an inexcusable. I just, I, I thought it was disgusting. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Next one, um, I also saw this one in the wild this morning. I uh, standing in line for coffee. Um, so oh. this isn't the expensive unacceptable. Ugh. I mean. <laughs> I know. I think those are always gross, no matter who, no matter where. The no Burks. Matter what. So those of yeah. you just listening, the Burks. I mean, how I mean, do I you think. I get it when you're going, like, I get it in college. There's like college people. You're like, oh, this is the easiest way to go to, to walk out. But like, we're not friends. You know no, I mean? we're not friends. Like I would see people walking around like that on my college campus, and I'd be like, "Check them off the social list." Uh, absolutely. Yeah. I would. First of all, I would never have sexual relations with anybody. Oh my god. Because look at the cork bottom. On I these wouldn't burks. even fucking spit food at this point. Like, <laughs> forget hooking up. And the bottom of the burke gets yeah. all black it's and all dirty. Oily. Yeah, I know. From your foot, this is so unfuckable. <sighs> I mean, don't you, any, would you wear these? I would, uh, no, never. Um, never. N no, and, and again, it's, it's mainly what you said about uh, the fact that they get dirty fast. They get fast. so nasty. Ugh. It's like, you would have to clean your feet all, all day. I don't You'd understand. have to clean your feet three times a day. What is, what is it about them? Like, why do they turn colors that other sandals don't? Something porous in the material? I guess. Yeah, it's it's got to be that because it is like kind of like a corkboard. Yeah. So it does have to be like that porous. Yeah. Uh, absorbent. It just absorbs material. oils and, and sweat. And, and sweat. Everything. So yeah. like it turns the material they turn black. Black. Yeah. They with set, filth. They, they you buy them and they're beige. Yeah. And then they turn <laughs> black. So don't you think Birkenstock could amend the design so that your they're shoes, clearly very popular. But your shoes look filthy. I know. I gotta the say when the back when it has the back strap. Oh my God. Very, very hot. <laughs> that, when I see a lady Ugh. that has like, Ugh. not just the over strap, but the back strap <laughs> around the, so you feel secure <laughs> and safe. <laughs> yeah. Now that, that's a nice looking sandal. Uh huh. Wrap up your vag. It's, yep. that's the look that says, I know. All done. I feel like a guy who all wears done. those is like, and then I, I put these on and then I, tuck my dick between my legs and I go out and I win the day. <laughs> well, because you're sending a message, which is my feet smell. My feet fucking reek. Look at that. Ugh. It's just stinky. Are people selling those? Yeah, they sell used Birks and you can <laughs> buy used Birkenstocks because they're expensive shoes. Okay. It's the most How disgusting. How much are Birkenstocks? I don't know. I would never buy them, but I know that I they're know, expensive. I know, but let's look, let's look them up. I would rather die than wear Birkenstocks. What's your guess? Stocks. I'd rather go barefoot like a hoe. Yeah. A Vegas like hoe. Like a Vegas hoe. <laughs> yeah, right there. Click buy online. How much are they? They range. It looks like they're close to between 100 and 200-ish. Get the okay. fuck out of here for that That is expensive. Stuff. I didn't think they were that expensive. Ugh, to look like nobody, to look dirty and I'm have nobody I'm kind of sad that I know you. that now. I know. That I know how much they that, that these are expensive is fucking mind blowing, and people are obsessive over their broken. Oh, stuff. I know. Like people, you know oh, what I mean? I like know. they're like, oh man, I've had these since fucking two thousand six. Gross. Love them. Like, great. They look like you've had them yeah. since two thousand six. Yeah. The tar. Did you bottom. fucking hike Ugh. Jerusalem in those? Like, what the fuck <laughs> happened, man? Ugh. And you know what? Too, as I've had friends try to convince me, like, oh, get those. 
I heard you don't like Bert, but have you seen that kind? Oh, yeah. That's the thing that everybody does that when you go like, I despise this thing. They're like, you haven't done the right one. Like, yeah. Get the right thing. It's not like, for me, no. shit birds. Yeah, Europeans love them. But it's like Europeans that hike, not the ones you want to fuck. N- not like, the it's good the ones that are ones. like, yeah. You know what I mean? It's like the, the person that like <laughs> vacations like with their mom. Uh, Where's Birkenstocks? And know? definitely and doesn't. My mom and I went to Lisbon. <laughs> and yeah. then my mom and I went to Paris. Yeah. And we had Birkenstocks and we were so comfortable. <laughs> yeah. And they have armpit hair too. Yeah. Gross. So gross. When, yeah, it's definitely a Berkeley, California oh, look yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Those chicks it's up all there. Hippies, hippies Santa love. Cruz. In, in Carolina, like if you, go, if you went to Boone, Ugh. North Carolina, or Asheville, it's like the official shoe of Asheville. It's, you know? I guess it's the official shoe of hippies. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. It's like, I don't shower that much. <laughs> you know, it's patchouli oil. It's Stop, uh, I a lot hate of bracelets, patchouli. a lot of bracelets, rings. Bracelets, jewelry crystals Broken around the stocks. neck. Yeah, it's not a fucking hygienic thing. Okay? It's so unhygienic. Yeah, you fucking stink. Stink. You wear them. I hate Burks with everything yeah. inside of me. I had a roommate that wore these. I think that's why I'm so turned off because he, I would see him, he takes them off and then they're in the hallway and you're like, dude, these smell. Your feet stink. (laughs) This episode is brought to you by our partner, Whoop. Tom and I are huge fans of Whoop. I love to measure how my sleep is going, how many calories I'm burning, how much strain I'm putting into my workouts and, and how well I'm recovering. It's the easiest way to make healthier decisions if you're trying to just improve the quality of your workouts, your life, your rest, everything. Whoop provides personalized insight into how recovered your body is, how much stress you take on during the day and in training, and lets you know how well you sleep. So for our listeners, if you've been thinking about giving Whoop a shot, there's no better time than today. For our listeners, you can save 15% off a Whoop with the code your mom. Go to whoop w h o o p dot com and use code your mom at checkout to save yourself fifteen percent off today. Know yourself with personalized recovery, strain, and sleep insights from Whoop. We are supported by Policy Genius. It's May and things are blooming. Why not see if your home and auto insurance savings can bloom too? We're almost halfway through with the year, head into June with one less thing to worry about. See if you're overpaying. For home and auto insurance, is your home and auto policy almost up for renewal? Let Policy Genius look for a lower rate for you. Policy Genius makes it easy to compare home and auto insurance in one place. They can help you find home and auto insurance similar to what you have, but at a lower price. They've saved shoppers up to $1,055 per year over what they're paying for home and auto insurance. They do all the work for you. They show you the, the rates from the uh, competition, and if you want to switch, they take care of the switch over. To me, that's always the best part of what they offer. You don't have to be stressed out by, oh my God, I'm going to have to do all this stuff now. No. You go, that's a better rate. I want to do it. They switch you over. Head to policygenius.com to get started right now. Policy Genius, when it comes to insurance, it's nice to get it right. God. <laughs> Fucking smelly bird. Here, this will, let's cleanse the palate because I'm going to get this out of my head. <laughs> They threw a monkey threw shit on grandma's nose, right on her nose. That's probably the best thing I've ever seen. Pretty great. Besides autistic shit. Yeah. I really like this. Uh, I really like this. Today, I, I'm all about these clips, guys. Good clips. Good clips. Wow. Yeah, so you get, I mean, you get shit thrown at <laughs> your face by an animal. You ever been to the <laughs> zoo and, and like, and you think about how it feels like this could go sideways? Yeah. You're like, what? Like, you're yes. at the, I mean, I went to the LA Zoo, and I remember you see, like, the elephants, and you're like, is it just this little? Yeah. Thing? And they're like, yeah, they, they just don't get out. And you're like. Uh huh. I mean, they could. Dude, you could just step over that. I mean, it has happened where you know toddlers fall into. Oh, that's going in. But I'm saying those guys coming out. That too. That seems like that's very possible. Well, they, one of them gets a, an idea in their head and spreads the ideas to the other elephants, and then mm-hmm. there's an elephant revolt. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Yeah. I mean, tigers escape from people's private collections. Oh yeah. All the time. I heard Joe Rogan talking about it 
on his podcast, he said in Texas mm -hmm. that people have like tigers. Exotic animals. Yeah, yeah. And they escape all the time. Yeah. yeah. You're like, what? Well, I imagine that nor like not the zoo people, regular people would probably not shelter their animals. Well, people properly. smuggle. Yeah. They smuggle in yeah. wild cats and then they're like, hey, I have a leopard at home. <laughs> at home. Yeah. At home, yeah. no, no, I built this fence. And for the thing though. is, they do like they will bond. You know, you you can <laughs> bond with these animals when they're when you get them as cubs, and then yeah. you go like, no, it's not like a wild animal because I've had it since <laughs> it was a cub. And you're like, yeah, you don't override its DNA. No, like at a certain point, it's just like I want to hunt and eat shit. Well, know? I mean, the only the only one that's had their DNA overridden is this dog here. Yeah, I mean, this one is so inbred and inbred. I mean, there's no wolf. Left. Inside her skull is just a box of sand. It, there's nothing going on in there. <laughs> no. Barks at nothing. <laughs> Never growled. I don't even think she knows how to growl. There's no, no survival instinct. She, she does would bark die. at the air. Yeah. <laughs> this one would die. At least Fifo, we had, or, or other doggy yeah. Fifo, he could have survived in the wild. Mm -hmm. I think Fifo would have dug and found trash or something like this one's so dumb. No, she would die immediately. Immediately. Yeah. 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 If we left her in the backyard for one night, Dead. she would just die. A fucking owl would just grab her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'd try to talk to them. Can you please let me live? <laughs> yeah. But that zoo thing, you're spot on. Or think about... The thing that actually the most... Where I think you feel it, because you see the elephant... And the wildcats, they're sort of at a distance. The one that you go, holy shit, is the chimps, you know. Yeah. Chimp, chimps will bite each of your fingers off, rip your <laughs> testicles off, I know. pull your jaw out of your mouth. They'll peel skin off your back like it's strips of bacon. <laughs> and they're just like, they're just over that thing right there. And they're just looking at you, fucking going back and <laughs> forth. And you're like, um, <laughs> what's the safety protocol here? And they're like, oh, they're over there. They're used to being over there. And you're like, okay. Oh, and they're being antagonized by strangers all day. Chimps can tear your arm your out of its socket off. and off of you. Yeah. That, they're so fucking strong. Now, how did we not get that strength? Because we're descendants, aren't we? We are like... descendants. I don't think it would be good for human <laughs> beings to have that strength. They can pull a fucking car door off its hinges. That's you know? amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Also, I was saw this thing on TikTok about alpacas. Mm -hmm. and how um, their teeth are, they have like a, a soft palate thing on the top mm -hmm. and then they've got vicious teeth and they too, they, ah, and they'll rip nuts off the other Jesus. alpaca. Yeah, they're vicious as fuck too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they look stupid, but they're pretty they vicious. <laughs> I thought you were about to tell me that, that uh, <laughs> alpaca are strong as fuck. I was bad. what? <laughs> <laughs> They're just kind of dumb. You Look see at those, those teeth? teeth right there. Yeah. Yeah. Those can rip nuts off too. And they do it. They'll rip off other alpacas nuts. That'd be so upsetting to have your nuts bit off by an alpaca. Dude. Worst day ever, huh? God. Dude, what chips are they doing? Are, are they crazy. filing it down right there? Yeah. So sometimes their nail, their, sorry, their teeth get too long oh. and, and then they file them down so that they. How to trim an alpaca's yeah. teeth. And their claws, Ooh. obviously too. They're yeah, like a hard gnarly. pass on that. Dude, people have these as pets. You're like, why? That's why the crazy fuck thing. would you have an alpaca, a monkey, uh, a snake, like a big stupid snake? They are they run wild in Peru. I've been down there. <laughs> Did you ride one of these in Machu fuck Picchu? no. Uh-uh. <laughs> Never touch it. Look at that. that guy, he looks like he's in the middle of saying something. Hold on. He looks like he's drunk. <laughs> yeah. That's like yeah. if Bert was an animal. That's him right there. <laughs> I'm a machine. A hundred percent, Tom. Uh, drink Kool Aid. <laughs> it looks like he's saying it right there. Oh, uh, drink Kool Aid. Oh my Do god. Do you miss Bird? It's been a while. He's been in Siberia yeah. for a while. I we faced him the other day. Yeah. Did? Yeah. How's he doing? He's doing well. Yeah. He likes it there. I think so. I mean, he seems like he's having a. You know, he's he's uh, he's doing a lot of rehearsals right now. Sweet. Yeah. It's so exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> what he's a life. Fun. I know. What a fun life we lead. This is ridiculous. He has such FOMO, though. <laughs> well, we should definitely be he's milking He's definitely that. the type, too, you know? He's just like, he's always like, uh, what's going on? And I'll be like, so much fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. 
He's like, so really? I'm like, yeah, man. I just had this meeting. It's fucking tight, dude. <laughs> well, what happened? I'll tell you about it later. He's like, I'm talking to you right now. <laughs> That's really sweet. That's very endearing. Yeah. I wonder if I'd, I think I have, uh, I have no fear of missing out anymore. I'm, I have, uh, I'm kind of glad to miss out. Yeah. And shit. Little babies make that happen. Yeah, you're like, you I have kids, no will you're to like, live. What are you talking about? Cares. Got to make sure these guys eat, sleep, <laughs> shit indoors. Not Bert. No. That's just the kids didn't slow him down one beat. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so funny. Um, Ugh. I so want to do what this lady did in this video here. Yeah, me too. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be so much fun. And then security tries to... She's, big. She's a big bitch. Yeah. Look at that guy. He's trying to like, he can't even get her to budge. She's got chimp strength, Tom. Yes, yeah, she does. She's built like a silverback. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I could see why. <clears throat> he's having a rough time. He's trying to. Yeah. I mean, he, he he's basically pulling her shirt off. She's like, not good. moving. Yeah. Can I, you know what really bothers me? I think this is a Best Buy, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. And the amount of tchotchkes and candy and shit that they sell you in line yeah. at the best buy and has always annoyed me a lot of bullshit you don't need that much fucking bullshit don't try to sell me everything so i like that she's like fuck you too uh, much stuff available let's tear it down start over i don't think that's what happened here that's not what happened she got annoyed i don't think she was just like why so many last minute items to purchase i don't think that's what happened I think we're missing uh, what led to this. Yeah. And also, she's probably severely mentally ill. <laughs> <laughs> now, why would they call the store Best Buy if it's an electronics store? Mm. Best Buy implies nothing, right? Best, it's the Best Buy. The okay. best purchase you can make? Right? Best Buy. Yeah, but that, all they sell is electronics. So shouldn't the store have an electronics name in there? Like Circuit City. That was a good name for a store. You knew what was inside of it. Best Buy, I don't know what the fuck they're selling in there. Again, had I not ever been in one, I would have been like, I don't know what's in there. The best stuff you can buy. It's all the good stuff. Is it home goods? Is it bed, bath, and beyond? It sounds like good stuff's in there. Soft God. things. I mean, have you been thinking about know. this? I do. <laughs> fries, also a stupid name Fucking for a store. stupid. Why would you name it and Fries? Fries, fries had, had the actual legit tech people. Like yeah. if you wanted to buy real hardware and you had like in-depth question, you go in there and their guys, they were like, you know, like a sommelier with wine and you're yes. like, all right, man, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> the region and the year and the notes of cinnamon. What the fuck? You, that's them like for electronics. Fries that you would be like, hey, I'm looking for a cable and they would just start like what kind of, like they would just know like you can hook this up to this and you could have, and they'd have uh products that you didn't find at best buy you know like you'd be like i'm looking for this sony camera and they're like that's some bullshit i'll show you some real cameras and then you get in. yeah fries was the legit it's out of business now maybe because nobody knew what the fuck they sold inside i know they're probably like i already ate today so i don't want to go fries <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah dummies like me yeah. are like what's the fries french fries like, i mean are chili these, fries what kind of fries are all those sales final at fries what if i what if i want seasoned fries are these curly fries available today? Fucking dumb name, man. That's a dumb name. Well, that's what I'm saying. So dipshits like me, then I'm like, well, I'm never going to go in there. I don't know what yeah. the fuck you're selling, dummy. You dumb fuck. Name it something apparent. Like the come and go. We know what happens there. You come and you go. I get it. Yeah, you come and go. <laughs> you, yeah. you jizz in the aisle and then you leave. Shit, I went to the come and go last night. Stop it. <laughs> You're very proud lately of your ejaculations. You've been bragging on this show constantly. I'm the best. I will say I milked you two, twice in the last 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And look how calm he is. Exhibit A, Yana. Look what a happy bear we have. That's double milked <laughs> in 24 hours. <laughs> calm. Serene like a fucking Hindu cow. <sighs> like a Buddhist he looks like the Dalai Lama. You know why Dalai Lama had his nuts milked all the time? He probably had a white <sighs> Yeah. Good stuff. 
Um, uh, let's take it up a notch. I mean, that lady was kind of crazy. How yeah. about more crazy? I like it. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is a delayed flight to Lebanon now. <laughs> Oh, 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 snap, girl fight. <gasps> no, no shit. not the lady with her. Don't pull her hair. Madav, is that you in the background? Right there? Is that you? <laughs> Are you coming up? Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying? What happened there? Uh, that, that's not my language. Oh, it's not? Uh uh-uh, uh. It's oh. from the region, I think. It is from the region. Yeah. She almost pulled off that lady's headscarf. That that's messed up. You're yeah. not supposed to do that. Super disrespectful. Yeah. That's like pulling off your Do we have any context on this? We know what happened here at all or, or no? 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 Just no. a fight. Just people getting Hat- mushed on. Plane line. fights are fucking scary. Because, you know, you have such a limited ability to move, like to get away oh from it. Oh my God. There's a fight like right in your row or something. You're just in it. You're just in it. You're just in it. You have nothing you can do, man. You're just it. You're just it. I would hate to do that. I would hate. To be on a plane oh fight? My God. That'd be terrible, man. Terrible. Uh, what would you do in this this chaos? Well, there's not much you can do. Just I mean, I can't it. believe the people that are just sitting there like, I'll just... I would at least try to stand up and kind of back away from it. It's, I mean, I guess it's ladies, so you're kind of like, it's kind of like kids, one step up from kids, but... It's like, <laughs> you know. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I've seen some chola fights. Mm-hmm. That would rival any dude fight any goddamn day. Yeah, that's a different breed, if you know what I mean. That's, well, uh, you see gangbanger girls fight? Yeah, what this is the fuck, man. Hey, is, Nadav, back me up. Any Chola fights? They should just have a Chola fights website where you can watch that I'm shit. I'm sure that exists. Oh. You don't think there's an at Chola fights IG? <laughs> Go ahead and send those in, guys. For sure there is. There's probably a YouTube channel. It's probably a brand right now. It's like, oh, thanks for the shout out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could watch Chola's fight all fucking day, homie. Yeah, you saw it in school. All the time. Shout out to Portola Junior High in the San Fernando Valley in the late 80s. Uh, every single lunch period, lunchtime, always a fight. Cholas ripping each other's hair out, fucking getting crazy. Horrible, horrible, horrible. By the way, I've had, so we just got found out that the, the context is they were fighting over overhead space. Yeah, I can see that. And I've, uh, I can see that. I've had a couple run ins in my time. Oh, boy. I bet you air. started a couple of run ins. Uh, a couple times. Tunisia to Turkey. Oh, yeah. That looks right. Um, Look how he spelled Tunisia. I know. I mean, T E N. Yeah, that's that's not it either. But um, it's okay. We get it. I get it. Um, Tanesia. Tanesia. <laughs> Tanesia. Tunes. So. <laughs> I, uh, Is that how you read everything that it, I type out? Yes. <laughs> Tanesia. Tanesia. Uh, is it Tennessee? They're going uh, from Tennessee from uh, Knoxville to Turkey. <laughs> <gasps> so i was um i've had a a lady one time yeah a couple times so i've had first of all i had a lady go could you put this up there like and okay then, how did she ask real talk so okay so one time a lady goes um hey can you she goes bag like <gasps> this and i was like looking around no like, what? And she was like bag and i'm like do you need help with it yeah it's like okay she was short i was like bitch i ain't your husband i, I know that's a weird way to ask yeah entitled Put i don't like there. that at all i've had a real thing with uh overhead space though wait did you should have fucking thrown that in that shrimp's face no i that helped her stupid out stupid bitch i helped her did out. you say did you say thank thank no nah, she didn't thank she just went went in the uh then there was um then there was one time <laughs> where i saw somebody what a bitch uh disabled who came like came to the seat and i go let me put that up there for you and she goes thanks and a lady behind me like a cute chick goes hello like i'm trying to walk down the aisle <gasps> and i'm like hey i'm helping her put her bag up top and she was like oh, god this is like in like immediate boarding too i was like 
the fuck? So like that's how like confrontations start. Like she made a big thing that I, I was like I volunteered to do this, and she was like, "I'm trying to wow. walk through here." Like, Sounds like you're sitting around a lot of cunts. Well, this is over the course of a thousand flights, you know. Yeah, that's really rude. Then I had then I had the time where I was in a pretty heated mood. And I'm scared. I saw somebody, I told you this, I saw somebody put their bag in the first class overhead and then they walked back. So I took their bag out and I threw it in the aisle. Um, and a flight attendant saw me and was like, and she picked it up and put it in the, so I did that <laughs> once. And then. No, 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 don't, don't just, and then next story. Yeah. You. I was, I was heated. What? Yes, I, and I've seen people get kicked off multiple flights. What, yeah, the most, I've seen it drunks. The most uh, like electric one where like my dick was hard was um, <laughs> on a regional flight, like a small plane, and we were in Colorado and we were heading back to LA, and uh, we we pull away from the gate, and then all of a sudden we're going back, and I hear commotion. It's a small plane, and I hear this lady. Oh yeah, well, that's really fucking great. Look what you're doing. And I was like, what is happening? <laughs> And what happened was Tom's all excited. Oh He's yeah, all I was in. like, <laughs> me, I'd be like, uh, I'm not looking. Not my happened. problem. A lady, I thought I told the story. A lady was uh, going to breastfeed in the back of the plane, and she, and it was like, it's a small, it's a small regional jet. The flight attendant asked her to do or say, like, do something, and the the lady dismissed her. And was like, just do this and like, do your job. And the lady was like, oh, I can't have this passenger on the plane because we're not even in the air and she's like tell like you know ignoring what i asked her to do it so came back and then we we pull up to the gate there's police on the jet bridge and then the lady had like a, a young kid another kid and her hu and the husband was like <laughs> you could tell like he's always like this bitch never shuts the fuck up you know like she's one of the real mouthy broads you know so he was he was completely silent and and the pilot came back and was like nope got to go and then she was like i'm going to sue you i'm going to sue you the lady went you know totally crazy no and, she's uh, not huh? she's not going to sue them no, of course when they she's always not. threaten it's like you no you're not no, she's like you're going to you know how much money it takes and, to sue somebody and then the pilot talked that. to us like cuz the plane was so small he was like well got her out of here <laughs> got ready to fly to LA today <laughs> we're like yeah so there was that um but I've also had one um, where this is the one that this is one that I feel like could lead to fights was uh, when somebody another passenger decides they're going to rearrange bags. I hate that. So you know what I mean? Like I don't like that. Like, it fills up. The overhead fills up, and then someone will come on and they'll be like, "Hmm." Yeah, Tetris. They'll start looking at the bags. So like one time a guy starts. I go, "What are you doing?" And he's like, what? I go, that's my bag. What are you doing? Yeah. He's like, I'm putting it over here. I go, well, I didn't say to touch my bag. You can't do that. Like, you're not in charge of the fucking plane. You're not the boss of me. Yeah. And so then the flight attendant, he'll go, let me help you. I'm like, yeah, but why are you moving my stuff? To like, I didn't ask him. you to move my stuff. Well, and, and not only that, let's say you have a bag that has something delicate yeah. inside of it. And I put it there and now it's... it's and now you're smushing it because you're trying to fit your bullshit on top of my bag. Mm -hmm. When I paid first class... I'm in first class so that my bag doesn't get fucked with, right? Yeah, that makes me really upset too. But People moving your shit really not a, not cool. But let's go back to this bag throwing incident. And I remember one other thing. Hold on, one other I, you're, thing. You're trying to avert. No, no, we'll do that. We'll do that in a I second. Just, I'm, I'm, I remember one other thing. The, I would have laughed. So I one time hard. walked. Yeah, I walked one time behind a guy <laughs> who was I'm not kidding you, like six five, like two fifty five, and from the gate down to the jet bridge was barking at <laughs> people and staff and i was like this dude might overthrow this plane like he was like they're like you know line up and like he, he goes let's go move up move over to your left if you're gonna walk that slow and i was like oh my <laughs> god that's... and he was enormous you know and just like come on guys pay attention Are you, that's not gonna fit in the overhead let's go like he was talking like that on the way down the jet bridge, and I was behind him like this, dude. It's gonna kill someone. Did he get kicked like, off? No. Wow. No. And he he just had like no time for anything. I like, like him. I, like, I wish he was on all my flights. Yeah, I know. Keep all these fucking dumb dumbs going. Um, okay, so hold on. What preceded 
the event of I'm going to pull. The, I understand. Okay. I, I understand I'll tell your you, irritation. I'll tell, you, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. And if I'd always, seen that, I would have laughed really hard. It's always a series of things. So I don't remember every little thing. What I remember is that I was super irritated when I got on the plane, like immediately. And this guy, because there's always, you know that, um, that game, that fucking game that people play at the gate when you're doing, when you're boarding? Like, they'll be like, all right, uh, so zone, and then someone will jump in front, and you're like, all right, all right we're all, you know what I mean? Like, they, they, have to sco- they have to be in front of you. So it's one of these guys who, he was playing the game where he doesn't know his zone, you know? So he's like, mm. he gets in front of me, and I'm like, okay. Like, they're still pre-boarding. Are you pre-boarding? No, you're not? Oh, okay. So then you're just waiting. But he like shoehorned his way in, right? Then you get, you get to, to swipe your, your ticket and the, uh, the gate agent is like, oh, you're basically acknowledging this guy's boarding too early. Mm. And then goes like, so sometimes the gate agent will be like, go back, right? Those are the ones that like, you, it feels good when you see it. And then sometimes they'll go, oh, just... Yeah, just board now. And they'll let they'll basically let the person yeah. cheat. Like, you mm-hmm. know, like jump mm-hmm. in, jump ahead. She let the guy in. I was like, this fucking guy. So now I'm behind him. We walk on and he has like I remember he had jeans and a belt that was tight mm. and a white mm. tucked in collared shirt. Right. And he was like and he was like smug. Like he had a fucking smug walk to him. And so he he walked up and it's uh it says, you know, first class reserve. He puts his bag and he was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> And then he walks and I go, oh, he's sitting in the back of the plane. So I took his bag and I threw it into the aisle. And I, and I did it like super aggressively. And it probably, I mean, it was all emotion, you know? <laughs> and then I put my bag exactly where his was and his is laying there and the flight attendant went. <laughs> and I go, he's sitting back there. And she was like, I know. <laughs> and she put his bag in the coach. <laughs> another time, another time, a guy, <laughs> a guy walks on. He goes, hang, can you hang my coat? Fuck you. To the flight attendant. And she oh. goes, where are you seated? Yeah, what the fuck are you And he seated? was like 28C or something. Nope. And she was like, no. Nope. No. Nope. And he was like, you can't hang my coat? And she was like, well, the, we hang the coats for first class passengers. We're not going to hang your coat. And I was sitting there with a jacket on. And she was like, do you want your jacket hung? And I go, yeah. So I gave her my jacket for <laughs> <laughs> just to show him yeah i was like fucking take a hike can i tell you though i like the story of you throwing that guy's bag so much because i have wanted to do that probably can i tell you the best every part flight of, of my life I've the wanted best to do part that. of that is the part i didn't get to see which was him walking up yeah at the end of the flight <laughs> and thinking that his bag is in the front and then he oh. opened it and there were probably people behind him and he's like where's my bag and now he's got to go against traffic yeah that would have been bag. nice if they had a fucking, Gosh. if that was on camera, I'd have it on my phone and play it every morning <laughs> when I woke up. Don't you wish you had a time machine to go back and, and do that oh, moment yeah. again? Fucking I've wanted to shit. throw people's bags too. Yeah. I'm so jealous almost that you got to do that. And I'll do it again. Yeah. I'll do it again. Well, you do it for sure. me. And there was no negative repercussions. The, the, no. Not normally, the but flight attendant might give you a talking to, Tom. The, you know? I think the flight attendant had every right to give me a talking to. And just saw me and saw what was going on in my <laughs> face and was like, I'll let this one slide. Yeah. Like, this guy is dynamite. There's a stick of dynamite in his mm-hmm. tushy. Well, and I, I, mean, I also Jeez. immediately followed it up with, he sits back, he's sitting back there. Yeah, he's not even in like, first class. She was like, okay. <laughs> but he did try and break proto. He did. I've seen that before, by the way. That move, that's supposed to be, it's a slick, uh, frequent flyer move. Yeah. Which is if you're in the back, put your bag in the front so that you can have it easily accessible when you leave. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, mm-hmm. you're taking up overhead space from people that are seated in that row, you know? I've done that move. When I was a feature act, and I was so broke, yeah. and I bored fucking last, you yeah. know what I mean? I couldn't afford privilege, point of personal privilege, Tom, first class privilege. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, and so I, on the walk to my sad ass seat, I 100%, I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna look at the fucking middle, and I'd yeah. be all, Boop, and then I'd walk a little bit. The back. other fun one that I've seen, I've never, I got to participate, but I've witnessed this before, <laughs> is like a really full flight. Yeah. And the flight attendant will be like looking around, and this is in the first class. Well, cabin. I mean, I defend myself. Sorry, before I, go, I would never put it in the first class's cabin, though. Yeah. That's rude as fuck. Yeah. Well, that, they this is what I that. saw. They, the, the flight attendant was like, 
because people were boarding and they're like, there's no room. And she starts like going and she's like, who is this yours? And, and, and then she pulled out a bag and she was like, is this yours? And everybody was like, no. And then she goes, whose bag is this? <gasps> like that onto the whole plane. And somebody like midway in the back was like, that's my bag. They're like, you can't put that up here. She shamed him in front of the entire, entire flight. Wow. And that, that got me like. <laughs> Hard as rock. Yeah. Hard as a rock. I felt good. That Did you day. have a Dutch J or D in the uh, yeah, bathroom I, I there? Yeah, I turned around and I was like. Oh. <laughs> Might have to gate check that, huh? That sucks. Gate check is the worst. Oh, yeah. When you're like. Fuck that. He's coming with me and they're like, nah, you're going to pick it up at baggage plane. You're like, oh, fuck. Yeah, it's good. the worst. We are supported by Nutrafol. 80 million men and women in the U.S. experience thinning hair. It's uh, not openly talked about, which can make going through it feel scary and stressful, and it just adds to the problem. Nutrafol is formulated with potent botanicals to help you grow hair as strong as you are, and it's physician formulated to be 100% drug-free. On top of thicker, stronger hair without lasers or chemicals, Nutrafol's ingredients may also help you get a handle on better sleep, stress response, skin, nails, and libido. Visit Nutrafol.com and take their hair wellness quiz for customized product. You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and using promo code YMH to save $15 off your first month's subscription. This is their best offer available anywhere, and it's only available to U.S. customers for a limited time, plus free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code YMH for hair as strong as you are. We are supported by ExpressVPN. Why does everyone need a VPN? Because privacy is important and it is your right, but they're not just going to give it to you. You have to make an effort to actually obtain that privacy. Otherwise, people track you. They know your every move, your every search, your every decision, what you're watching, father and son stuff. You know what I mean? So if you want your rights to remain private, well, you got to sign up for a VPN. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so your online activity can't be seen by anyone. It's as easy as closing the bathroom door. Rated number one by CNET Wired, The Verge works on phones, laptops, even routers, so everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can be protected. I use it on my phone. I use it on my laptop. And listen, I just like knowing that I'm not being tracked. I like knowing that no one knows exactly what I'm doing and the horrible things that I'm looking at. That makes me feel good. I mean, you know, but you're looking over my shoulder. But you know what I mean. Secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash your mom today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash your mom. You can get an extra three months free. ExpressVPN.com slash your mom. Um, can I tell you, you you have a disagreement with me. <sighs> Let's fuck out of here with this. <laughs> yeah, so I, I have a friend of mine and I were text messaging back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And then she sends me an audio message to listen to of her talking and i was so as uh, fucking aggravated i was like i'm not even gonna listen i didn't even listen to it i was like fuck you like if you want to talk to me fucking call me and talk to me what is this arrogance of the audio message like no 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 you listen to the monologue i love it i love it i've been using it i received yeah. it a few times it's just here's the thing it lets you get out if it's a somewhat complicated you know, message, thought, idea. You're like, I'm going to text out that, well, what I, well, for, you should probably go over to Jake's house first. And then when you're done, if you don't see the bags there, come over here. It's like, you want to text that whole thing or just go, hey, let me just tell you real quick what we're going to do today. It, it lets you send the message in an easy to process, understand way. There's no nuance to like looking, like figuring out the text. <sighs> Can I tell you, you what? You hit though? keep. You hit keep. But now you got all these audio messages. All? That- How many do you have? I mean, from you, I have a couple. So delete them. But don't you feel demeaned? I felt... Okay, do you want to read this message? Hold on, let me talk. I felt diminished and demeaned at receiving an audio. It's like, you're not worth 
talking to, yeah, exactly. you're worth talking at. That's right. And I'm like, I don't want to fucking be talked at. Oh, call I want to talk at people. Man, you're a real psycho. I want to talk at you for sure. Talk at you. And then here's the thing. You understand completely what I wanted to like. The, there's no, it's not like I say the thing and you have another question. I'll go, here's all, here's all the information available. Like, do you want to? Do you want to read this message or do you just want to listen to me? I love to eat pussy. You want to hear it, right? I'm just going to tell you. I prefer reading because I'm not very good at getting information auditorily. I need to read it and then read it again and then read it. I'm looking for girls for pussy. Yeah, I'd like to read that message. No, because then you're like, wait, how does he mean it? And now you hear it and you're like, oh, he's really looking for pussy. (laughs) You think the tone of your voice? Nadav, when he sends you these messages, how hostile is the tone? Um, is it angry? It, it, no, it's usually not hostile. It's usually like the tone is what Tom just explained, which is just like he's got a lot of things to get out in an order. Yeah. Um, yeah. See, I think it would be like if I if it was about work, right? If I was like, all right, I'm gonna send Nadav a text, but then I go, oh my God, there's all, all right, Nadav. Here's the thing: in the morning, why don't we do that call? We can record the thing, and then afterwards, if you could set up the second set, and we'll do the other show. And after that, I'm gonna run over to the other office. Like it's like. You know, it's uh, other than like text, text, text. It just feels like it's a lot, you know? Yeah. No, yeah. And when I get like an audio message from you, I just know to always have a pen and paper next to me so that if there's important stuff to... See, this is different though. This is a work context. Yeah. I'm talking about two people that are friends. Okay, Christina. It's so I want rude. you to get in all them bubbles and make sure you sit in them and then get some pecans and corn chips and ice cream and we'll make a banana split and I'll see you when I get home. Boom. There's a voice but note. you never send me charming uh, messages like that. Sure, I do. You n- never, not never. Uh, uh, ver- By the way, I am so excited. I just want to commend you mm-hmm. on your cuddling abilities. Thank you. Now, since the live show, you, man, he put this cuddle move on me, and I was like, "This is what I've been missing for fifteen. I'm no, sorry, seventeen years of our relationship, whatever." I mean, I was like, it was so great. She was a good teacher. And then you had to come right away, but before you came, you did cuddle, and that was very nice. She so taught me that. She did, yeah. She taught me that. Did she talk to you about that? Like, Yeah, she said it's very common, and um, that, you know, well, you know, you saw the clip. It's like, I know. She was like, it's not all, she's like, it's natural. People get aroused, but maybe you can work on not, uh, going towards like what that arousal leads to. In other words, resist it a bit. Yeah. You know? Right. And I was like, Y'all know what's a banana split? She was like, yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, you're doing- She's a good cuddler though. You're doing good, yeah. Yeah. She'll teach Not you. too good, I hope. Mm-hmm. I have been seeing her regularly. Ah. Don't send me audio messages. I changed my mind. Okay. I don't want to listen to somebody just talk at me. I just. No. Send me a fucking funny meme. That's what you want? All day. Send me like a dumb TikTok or a funny meme. Hmm. Like send me the autistic as shit guy. You just want that to be sent to you? (sighs) Yeah. I don't want to have to do work. Like just fucking text me or call me then. Don't do an audio message. I don't understand this in between. Nadav, would you rather have a voice note sent to you or like a cool video like the ones that I sometimes send you? Wow, this is the hardest would you rather I think I've ever had to answer because I don't like either of them. (laughs) But uh, you know what? I'll take an audio (laughs) message over death videos. Okay. (laughs) Now, have you started your conversion to Christianity or Catholicism yet? Um, I've been like googling Im- like images of the rosary beads every mm-hmm. now and then just because you need to wrap that around your hand right i think you'll burn <laughs> don't that burn your skin to put them on right now before you've converted you think jews, jews can't get hold the by rosaries? rosaries that's what it's for to tell to keep is, jews away of course and vampires and jews that's what we i've read this for. too i've read this as well yeah it's yeah. true yeah. Well, I ordered it on Amazon, so I haven't touched it yet, but I'll, I'll keep you updated <laughs> okay. if it burns. Oh, oh, Bitsy, Bitsy, Bitsy knows. Yeah. Bitsy, are you Catholic? <laughs> <laughs> Bitsy, do you think Nadav should convert to Christianity or Catholicism? What do you think, Bits? 
Your blood is not what's stinking, bitch. She knows. She knows. She knows. She whooped at that. She was like, Jew. This made the rounds online uh, like a month ago, and we didn't play it, but it's so fucking foul. I just, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and everybody said the same thing. Everybody was like, this is some white people shit. 100%. Wow. One more of these. Oh, this is going to be so There's ice and ice cream in a toilet. So this woman has a toilet, and she's putting two gallons of sherbet, gummy worms, and then soda, and they're filling up well, no, the Now they, they take out the, the back. Oh, you already emptied this part. Yeah, I emptied that part. Jerry no, Saltz posted so this. Some of these in here. A lot of people posted this. Oh my goodness. Yeah. She puts more gummies and stuff in the tank and sour patches. And then they put soda in the tank. That looks pretty good. That does look good. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm going to get the cups ready. Mix that all around. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Wow. Yeah. One of these. Looks so good. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you mix it up a little bit, and then when you and flush, then you flush, and then we get to scoop it out. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> well, let's, I want to okay. make sure it's nice and mixed. Okay. 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 Really mix it in you there. Nasty it's bitch. Be great. Okay. Ready? Yeah. I think it's your guess. Like this, yeah, they're gonna love it. Okay. Yeah, because they don't know what the fuck you're doing. Okay, I'm gonna flush it. Should we Should we take off the lid so we can see? Yeah. Are you good? Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Right, I want to see it. Do it. This, you know, it could overflow, so we're not really sure. Oh, here we go. Wow. So it starts. Oh, look, it is. It's filling up. Wow. It's filling up. Wow, that's yeah, lovely. There it is. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. It okay. So now it's all mixed in. That's great. You can go ahead and just get that. And by the way, this is a functioning toilet because yeah. there's a toilet brush next to it. No, and it worked too. Like she. She flushed. Right, but meaning this is a toilet they've been using yeah. as a toilet. And they're like, what? We cleaned it. Not a new toilet. Let's say, let's say for argument's sake, they could have gone to Home Depot. Right, and got a new toilet. Which is an excellent name for a store, by the way. It's yeah. the Home Depot. I know what to expect. A depot, a stop. Is that what a depot is? For home things. Okay. Do you like that better than Lowe's? What the fuck is a Lowe's? Yeah. It's for short people. The Lowe's. Okay. So the point is... It's like for the sake of like my brain, this is not a brand new toilet. I don't think it is because it mm-hmm. looks like it's been used. There's a toilet brush next to it. This is her toilet. Ugh. Ooh, that's some gush gush. That's nasty. This is so fucking nasty. And she's so pleased with herself. Like, They're both yeah, pleased. They're going to love it. They're going to love it. It's so disgusting. Ugh. Even How th- upset would you get to if you're like, took a sip, you're like, it's pretty good. And then you walk by and you're like, did you get this out of the toilet? And they're like, yeah, we made toilet sorbet. Right? Wouldn't you be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I'd be like, this is the last time I'm talking to this person. I would never hang yeah. out again. No, yeah. I'd break up with that friend. Yeah. Well, and you can make this in a large punch bowl. It doesn't need to be in the toilet. There's no, no reason this yeah, has to be made in a toilet. It's not the same it's not in a toilet. It's not the same. <laughs> you gotta eat like, it in the toilet. Why do we have to put it in the toilet? I don't understand why they couldn't just make this in a bowl. And ice cream. First of all, let's, let's walk through what she put in there. Sherbert, ice cubes, Sour gummy worms, and then like Fanta orange soda. You know what I would do to this lady? <laughs> Put her head in the toilet no, and no. flush it Here's until she I dies. Do. I would, I would walk past that toilet, <laughs> and then afterwards, when I saw her with a cup, I'd be like, "Are you, are you eating that?" And she's like, "Yeah, we made it in the toilet." And I'd be like, "I, I jerked <laughs> off in the toilet like a minute ago." And she'd be like, "What?" I'd be like, "Yeah, I jerked off and then I pissed in it because I saw a bunch of ice in there." Are you drinking it? No? I'm drinking it now. She's, She's like, 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 well, yeah, I didn't think you would serve us what was in the <laughs> toilet. So I pissed in it and I jacked off in it. So everyone's drinking that now? It's on you. It's your fault. You put food in the toilet that I thought was just for decoration. <laughs> food in the toilet. Yeah. And not, not even good food. Oh, yeah, it's look at that floater. See, that's my shit. jizz right there in your cup. <laughs> But I wouldn't drink this under normal circumstances, what I'm trying to say, let alone mixed in a toilet. Why would you even, as an adult, want to drink that? It's so fucking gross. Yeah, it's a disgusting thing. It's disgusting. And I'll I'll go out, I'll just say it now. White people. It's white people's fault. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Point of personal privilege. (laughs) Fuck white people. Definitely. Let's watch this right here. 
Oh, Black people. Oh, oh shit. In a wheelchair? He's got one leg. <laughs> Put my window down, bro. <laughs> Come here. He's fucking that guy up. One legged man is fucking that guy up. Come on, bro. Oh, you put him to sleep. Dude. Wow. Do you know how demoralizing that has to be? They're like, you get knocked out, and you're like, yeah, by that, that dude in that wheelchair. A one legged one leg, dude. He fucked me up today. But don't you think the guy in the in the white outfit was drunk or something? I would say I would say so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a. I still think you you don't think your day is gonna go that way. <laughs> I still think if you're like I got drunk today, you don't think and it'll end with a guy in a wheelchair with one leg absolutely <laughs> right. fucking me up. In your wildest dreams, you would be like, today's the day I got beaten up by this. a one. This guy knows guy how to in fight. A, like, in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah. the window down, bro. Oh, Damn. <laughs> Put my window down, bro. Got fucked up. And look at it. He sticks his chin out like, go ahead. Hit me. Watch. Look. Boop. Ooh. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> that woman's oh, laugh is amazing. And that's it. Oh, put him to sleep. That's all she wrote right there. See you later. He wheels off. He's like, eat my You wouldn't rubber. forget that, dude. You would, If that guy in the white shirt would be like, oh, don't, don't even look at that dude in the wheelchair. He'll fuck you up. He'll fuck you up. Yeah. But that guy in a wheelchair has had to fuck people up his whole life. That's a good point. Because they've been like, fuck you, one-legged bitch. And he's like, yeah. oh, I'm a fucking one-legged bitch. Yeah. Can a one-legged bitch do this? Yeah. Pull your ass down and beat the shit out of you like that? Or like, he, he seems like so good at this. Maybe he just lost his leg, you know? He's been, <laughs> he's still- fucking, he's been fucking people up with two legs. <laughs> He still has that two-legged energy, that yeah. stamina. Yeah. He, what he's doing right now, he's like, I'm reminding this whole neighborhood that I can still fuck you up. <laughs> I might have lost his leg on my Rough Rider bike <laughs> this week. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I can still fight, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's wild, dude. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. You don't want any piece of that. No way. No fucking way. This is... Uh, this video I had pulled... For the staff, for the boys. Uh oh. Just to let them know what's out there. I'm you know? scared. I'm always worried about their health and their well being. And they know there's a bunch of floozies out there and they don't consider Uh-oh. what these chicks are up to. I'm here to make a few confessions to the people that I did fuck around with. I have herpes, chlamydia, and gonorrhea. Sorry that I didn't tell you from the beginning. I should have. Yeah. But I was the victim at one point. And now all, everybody that I fucked with is also now the victim. At the end of the day. And for you cheaters out, that's why you don't cheat and fucking bang them because now you're passing it on to other people. There you go. Well, look, two out of three are bacterial. No big whoop. That's nice, a shot. nice spin on the whole message. That's a shot at the dock. Okay. <laughs> Herpes is a little more annoying. You got to take your Valtrex to suppress it. Mm-hmm. But you know, it's not HIV. That that one's a little more troublesome to deal with. I still want the boys to wrap it up. And that's never gonna happen. No. These guys are fucking animals. No. Doesn't it doesn't feel good. <laughs> it don't feel good. It don't feel the same. <laughs> yeah. Now it burns when I pee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's a cool chick, though. She's rad. Yeah, I like her. I definitely would. You know, give it to her. Well, I mean, I'm sure wrapped. Wait, would you though? And let's be real. Be real with me, Tom. Yeah. You're. Let's say you're into her. Yeah. And she does tell you, look, I've got these three. As a 20 year, as uh, th- would it deter you? Yes. It would. Yes. Even in if your somebody, 20s. First of all, if she announced, she wouldn't announce it. She's making her announcement afterwards. What would happen is, I'd be at a party with her, and she'd be like, oh, "You want to fuck?" I'd be <laughs> like, "Yeah." And then I would be like. Let me. I have a condom, and she'd be like, "What are you gay or something?" And I'd be like, "What?" And then she'd go, "You don't need a condom," and because she said I don't need a condom, I wouldn't wear a condom. Right. And then she'd be like, "Ah, oh, yeah, I got these diseases." <laughs> I'm like, "What?" That's how it would go. Down. So, but okay, that's how, and that's how that would happen. But let's say, and it's 21 year old Tom. You're yeah. at your horniest. Right. She does tell you see this video. Oh, it would deter me. You'd be like, nah. Yeah. yeah. If somebody's annou- announcing that, I'd be like, no. Yeah, again, the herpes would be the big deterrent because mm. the other two are bacterial. I big, think it's the big, cocktail of the three. Big whoop. I'd be like, you this can is, treat this, the other two. It doesn't it's a matter. Shot. Like, this fucking savage is walking around with all three. 
Like, why, ha why haven't you treated the other two? I don't know. What do you mean? Try, I'm just trying to defend her. Why? <laughs> the fuck? She was a victim, she said at one point. She Okay. I'm trying to defend hoes, guys. Come on, someone's got to defend these hoes. For sure, she's got slides on. If they if they fucking <laughs> pan down, she definitely has them on. Uh, you want to defend hoes? Defend this. Do the queefing thing. It's amazing. You like the queefs? Yeah, I can literally queef on command. You guys want to hear this shit? Yeah. You want to hear this shit? Hold up. Let me just put the microphone right here. <laughs> Did you guys hear it going into my vagina? Now let me push the air out. Did you guys hear the air going in? Yeah, yeah, I we did. did. Yeah. And then going out. <laughs> She's fucking crazy. She's the best. Yeah. What are you talking about this is the mascot for YMH. This <laughs> is the new fucking queen. She's she's a good she's a good kind of crazy. Where yeah, like, she's awesome. You put twenty one year old Tom in that room. Yeah, done. Man. Which I'm I will like, say. In my mouth. Oh my god! The one thing that's alarming is how juvenile her bedroom is. Now, that's a little alarming. I don't like the My Little Ponies and, and these the are my pears, puppets and shit. Narwhal. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. looks like my fucking two-year-old's bed. Yeah, and then, she's doing pussy queeps in there. <laughs> Want to hear this pussy pop next to my teddy bear? What? I have to say too, I didn't like hearing the air go into her vagine. I didn't like the. I could hear it and I didn't enjoy that. I yeah. did like the fart sound, but yeah. I don't like that. Yeah, I mean, no. I wouldn't say like it's one of my favorite things I've heard. Did it turn you on? No. But I, I do like her, I like how her like personality that, that she's like fun. She's like, you like that shit? Yeah. I think she's fun. I think Positive. she be a fun hang. Yeah. You know, you could definitely pull out a joint and be like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to party? Yeah, yeah. And, and like, then yeah. she's like, I quiff on your back. You, remember that? you want to hear me quiff? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's hear you quiff. I don't She's think it would be fun. that hard to sleep with her. No. I have I knew a girl in college who could queef on command too. Yeah. It's a rare but real talent. Mm -hmm. I mean, I literally, it took me about three years of knowing her before one day we were all drunk. It was two in the morning. She goes, I can queef right now. I go, no way, show me. And she did it in front of a party full of people. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was really amazing. And then and then it was like we were always asking her to do it. You know? Yeah. Well, then she's like, come on. It's got to be special. You got to save it. Well, that's when it gets annoying when people know you have that talent. And yeah. then you got to keep doing it, I imagine. You know, I yep. can't do that. I can burp. I can shit on command. Hey, so can a dog. Have you tried it? Burp on command? No, shitting on command. We no. were talking about that talent. No. No, I don't shit on command. Hmm. Have you tried? No. I feel like it's a talent that you're not even trying to tap into. I don't really want to try. <laughs> but it's useful for when you're like, I want to work out, but I have to shit first. Yeah, sometimes my body will just do that for me, though. <laughs> you know? Dude, I had the craziest diarrhea when I came home from Arizona. <laughs> no, just hear me out. Before we go on, it was like, so here's what I had. I landed, and then I had some salmon, and it was undercooked. I had pure brown water coming out of me and i'm not exaggerating eight times <sighs> eight bouts of brown water it didn't even hurt like you know when you get diarrhea and it just has to come out of you so fast yeah and that's what happened i ate it and my body was like nope <laughs> dump it out so oh fuck oh fuck <laughs> oh shit oh you Nope, not funny. <laughs> he got fucked up, dude. How fast was he going? Oh, fuck. I mean, that's a steep hill. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look at that bike. Oh, just give up. Shit. Oh, you. Oh. Yeah, the speed wobbles. I feel that in the car when I turn off trash control. You're like, <laughs> I don't like that. Yeah, no, that was pretty good. So you're saying horrible? Yeah, I'm going hilarious. All right, this no, is gonna go that's well. Why this one looks good. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs>
<laughs> what an asshole. I like oh, that one. Oh, yeah. shin splints. That's fucking great. <laughs> You know, he was setting himself up for that one, family. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Idiot. It's a pretty scene. Is that in Canada somewhere? (laughs) (laughs) That fucking hurt twice, man. His knee and his back. Jesus Christ. Yeah, those were awesome. Yeah. Uh, Another one. Ready for this one? (laughs) Trans Canada. He might not be alive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I'm having fun. Oh, oh. Ooh. That, yeah. It's the double whammy, too. He hit the front and the back of his head on the concrete. What do you think? No. What are you voting? Hilarious? No. Yeah, I like the activity. I think sliding down that. Hill would How be did he not like so fun? See that before like, I at know. the top of his slide. I feel like too. You could have. It veered. didn't come out of nowhere. <laughs> like, yeah, when you're going down a street, you're looking out. You're, you're like, all right, yeah. I'm gonna go towards this. And we've all done some version of this, right? Like snow day, right? Yeah, snow, yeah, yeah. maybe skateboarding and or whatever. But like, you know, to fucking veer. Dude, when I was don't in, go into the car. When I was in Hong Kong, I forgot the the neighborhood. Hong Kong. But they had a like streets like like this steep sleep, and they fed into like a main highway. And Chad Daniels, we were out drinking, gets the lid of a trash can and sits on one and slides down like this. And at the last second, veers left, and cars <gasps> are just flying by. Like we were like, we're gonna lose Chad right now. <laughs> wow! I like, like I went from like oh my god laughing to be like ah, like you're gonna die. It just the last second, he just turns it. Oh, oh my God. Panic. Well, thank Genuine God panic. Turn. Yeah. I don't want to lose Dad Chaniels. He's like, I'm good. I'm good. He's so funny. He's so funny. Yeah. Don't lose Chad Daniels. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Jeez. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> yeah. You titled that Cliff Toilet Dessert. <laughs> that was a good one to dub. What's this? Toilet here? Dessert. <laughs> oh, my God. Somebody sent me this. They were like, who is this appealing to? <laughs> Your easiest outfit starts here. Shop styles for sizes 10 through 30. These are mid-fit, super skinny jeans for for size 10 through 30. <laughs> look yeah, they don't look good. They, look. they don't look good at all. My stepdad used to look like this normally. Like really? Big guys, you know, they pull yeah. it up over their hushy, That's such the a, stomach. Such a strange move. Yeah. It's also what they did in like the, the 30s. Or in like you know what I mean through the fifties, yeah. is that men Bump, would put the pants up. over their gut, and, and then that was that was the acceptable way it. to wear pants. It's so strange. Yeah, it doesn't look good. Oh my Oof. god! I mean, I only because the skinny jean doesn't look good on anybody except any who has the figure for it. Yeah, it's tough. Tough look. It's not. Yeah. But again, you know, we're all models now, and everyone's pretty. Everyone's perfect, you know. Every, we have to accept that all, all everything's good. All everything's times. fine and the same. Yeah. I'm autistic as shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is strange that everyone's pretty. You got that's the thing is like include. I understand because inclusion is a good thing. It really, yeah. is. representation's a good thing. Yes, inclusion's a good thing. But it's all there's also a level that's delusional. <laughs> like you're delusional if you're trying to say that like everybody's attractive it's or everyone's true. desirable i mean it maybe to word. someone but like most of us have kind of a there's a general consensus of what's attractive and appealing you know well if you look at the word attractive yeah meaning pleasing to the senses i'm assuming yeah. or pleasing to one's well, and it is eye. subjective so i understand like it can vary right right but so, on, on some level the thing that we do yeah. now is we go well if there's a if there's five people that feel this way let's advertise to them <laughs> and you're like but what about like the 98 <laughs> percent? like shouldn't we no nope, we need to, to cater to the one no. percent of people who feel on the marginal marginal yeah. marginalized side of so things. we need 500 so weird. models and somebody with their fucking face torn off <laughs> they should be a model too <laughs> no, are that's you missing an eye you're a model too like, what the fuck are you talking about it makes me, it's just are you, not. Are you doing this ad so that their family feels good? Like, 
<laughs> or the rest of society. I think it started for me when Dove did the soap ad for a regular looking women, like women like me yeah. on the billboard and with our disgusting fat body. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like regular like, bodies. This person's got burns from a fire. They yeah, were like, in I don't want to like, see what? regular bodies. I mean, put them on fucking Discovery, but not in an ad. Not in an ad. Yeah, there should be a TLC show. I agree. Look how gross this person is. But like, why are they advertising Dove soap? I want to see a perfect body. Well, and also too, we're redefining beauty. Okay, so now you're going to uh, say if everything is beautiful, then nothing is beautiful, right? There has to be a scale to rate something as beautiful, correct? Yeah, sure. Something has to be ugly in order for something to be beautiful. Sure. Credit Karma has always been there to help you make better financial decisions, and now they want to help you even more. With a Credit Karma money spend account, you can be rewarded for good money habits. Credit Karma money is a brand new checking account where you can win cash reimbursements for making purchases. When you use your Credit Karma money debit card, you can win daily Instant Karma purchase reimbursements on items up to $5,000. Right now, visit creditkarma.com slash win money to open your free account and start winning Instant Karma. Go to creditkarma.com slash win money to sign up for free and start winning Instant Karma. That's creditkarma.com slash win money. Instant Karma is sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase necessary. Exclusions and terms apply. See rules. Banking services provided by MVB Bank, Inc. Member FDIC. Maximum balance and transfer limits apply. It's barbecue season. So get ready for that summer cookout. You know it will happen, so just prepare for it. Right now, it can be difficult to find 100% grass-fed finished beef, free-range organic chicken, humanely raised pork, or wild-caught salmon at the grocery store, and it can also be incredibly expensive. Thankfully, today's sponsor, ButcherBox, believes everyone deserves high-quality, humanely sourced meat. ButcherBox couldn't be easier. Just sign up, select your box, and ship it. They ship it right to your door every month. And when you sign up now, you get a free Barbecue bundle in your first box. Two New York strip steaks, six burgers, and five pounds of drumsticks, all for free in your first box. Who doesn't love free meat? And absolutely delicious meat. For a limited time, Butcher Box is offering new members a free barbecue bundle in their first box. That's two New York strip steaks, six burgers, five pounds of drumsticks, all for free in your first box. Just go to butcherbox.com slash mom. That's butcherbox.com slash mom to get a free Barbecue bundle in your first box. You know what I didn't see anybody talk about at all? I heard you bitches was looking for me. <laughs> Bitch, here I, go. I need to tell everyone a secret. I can't keep it a secret any longer. The aliens are coming June eighth, twenty twenty one. So be prepared. That's really soon. It's been confirmed. I got the insider information. Aliens. June eighth. June eighth. June eighth. Right around the corner. It's a ten days before my birthday. Yeah. It's also like. 10, oh, 12 days from like, now or something. Wow. So, what are we going to do to prepare? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we should probably hit them up. What do we need to do? That's that's really like um, surface that's, level information. Well, no, it's very valuable information. I know, but like, it's, it's also like they're coming. Okay, where? What city? Should we they... tell Elon Musk? Yeah. Is he Because he's building uh, planes to go to Mars and that's stuff. True. Spaceships. Maybe Elon has something to do with this. Good point. Good looking out. Wow. I mean... Ah! I knew you boys would like this. It's a weightlifter getting pumped. He's pumping That's, himself okay, up. Okay, I was like, oh, are we going <laughs> to see the lift? No, it's just it, huh? He's just getting pumped and he's high-fiving. It says you have to live it up top, which is great. Yeah. I just think it's funny. Uh, that dude I'd be afraid of. <laughs> Imagine that guy's in your gym. Oh, man. Not the uh, guy, but that guy. Oof. Yeah, that was intense. Okay, now I'm really pissed off. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who the fuck? Do you think you are banning my sister's lives? Really? Are you that fucking bored that you got to ban her live? Yeah. Really? Mm. You guys need to get a fucking life. Yeah. And leave her the fuck alone. 
Bring it on, fuckers. Bring it on. You fucked with the wrong bitch on the wrong day. I'm not kidding. I don't think you are. Gosh, she's so serious. Mm. God, you guys make me fucking sick. <laughs> really? She, uh... Re she, she looks like she could be a model for the Gap. <laughs> uh, this isn't That's what she's modeling. I mean, this looks like Adam Driver's sister. I don't know. That looks like a Gap shirt, and this might be a Gap ad. Who knows? I know. Well, and also, who is this message to? So it's TikTok that has banned her sister from doing lives. Yeah. So is she addressing the TikTok administration? The, so there's TikTok lives? Yeah, you can go live on the talk. And, really? you know, I guess TikTok pulls people's things down a lot, deletes mm. your account randomly. Instagram's I don't know. Instagram's the worst because it's Facebook, basically, you know? Yeah. No, that, well, this is the talk. Cunts. This is Who owns TikTok now? Does Instagram own them? Uh, I don't know. I don't know who owns it. Is the Chinese still? Oh, didn't so, they sell it though? Yeah, I thought so. No? They did. I remember Trump... Put the fucking push on them. Uh, okay. It was valued at $180 billion. Damn. That's a lot of money. To TikTok to sale to I Oracle. Like how it's, yeah. Wow. Uh, so anyway, they do ban people frequently and this woman is obviously very upset that her sister was banned from doing her lives yeah <laughs> and she's gonna kick tiktok's ass yeah, i see that yeah you make me fucking sick you like that yeah i like that a lot. i like her she has no teeth yeah yo it's 420 shout outs to the weed smokers motherfucker fuck smoke that weed baby it's fucking 420 yeah smoke that weed motherfucker yeah fucking 420 baby fuck baby yeah, it's that a little was, late, that was but for it's, you. Um, yeah. I well, did, I pulled I did that a, for you. I did have my thing with 420. And he was really, remember the weekend? It's the weekend, yeah. it's Sunday, you can go church, fuck yeah. So now this is uh, smoking pot. Really, he really hits that those uh, those letters hard when he says it. Fuck. Like yeah. He really. Well, it's contagious, his enthusiasm. Yeah, it is. It is. I don't know, you know, it, it, it's really good. Good Thank job. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It's really good. I'm a pro dating coach, and this helps out who does and who does not find you attractive by the way that they hug you. So first of all, when somebody does not find you attractive, they will do this. So when you're hugging them and the hug needs to come to an end, they will give you something called the pity pat on your back. So they will pat your back like this. That is such a bad sign because when somebody does give you the pity pat, it means get off me. This is getting awkward. I do not want to hug you anymore, and I do not find you attractive. So if you ever feel somebody giving you the pity pat, stop hugging them because it is a very bad sign. But if somebody finds you attractive, they do this. So when you're hugging them and that hug needs to come to an end, they slowly bring their hand down your body and slowly pull it off. This is because they want to maintain physical contact with you for as long as possible. So if you ever feel somebody doing this, it means they find you attractive. You know who gives me the pity pat? Who? You. <laughs> I used to, remember I used to make fun of you for it. I would hug him and then be like, he'd be like, like, okay. And like, hug, hug done. Remember? I brought this up last night with you. I haven't done that in a long time. You used to do it a lot when we first started being together, hugging and then, okay, bye-bye now. <laughs> like your dad. I think that's your dad's affection, isn't it? Uh, kind of, yeah. 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 So you give me the pity pad. I don't do it anymore. Not since your cuddling session. Did she teach you not to do that? Oh my God, she taught me so much. Oh, stop. Oh. No, but you do do the pity pat a lot. Oh. I think you do it to everybody you hug. The pity pat? Uh-huh. No, I do it to family. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. Yeah. Yeah. You just want to be done with the hugging or with them? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Yeah, I definitely hug strangers more endearingly than I hug my family. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I've changed. 
Much better hugger. Yeah, now that you've been formally educated. Yeah, much better. You were a horrible. Oh, the pat! How quickly does a pat come? I mean, when I was like, we first got married, I remember I was like, "Hey, babe!" Like I'd hug him in the kitchen. Like one, two, three, four. Okay, okay. Like four seconds. Okay, bye bye now. He let me know. I'm like, that's it. And remember, I would bust your balls. You did. You did. I'd be like, that's it, huh? Like, don't give me that dog, Pat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that good boy. Yeah. All right, good boy. <laughs> okay, bye-bye now. Okay, scram. I'm your wife. <laughs> you don't pity Pat me, though, but you find me attractive, right? I do find you attractive, It's yeah. just too much contact. Was yeah. it too intimate? Like, yeah. too much? Yeah, like, oh, what do I do with these feelings? Yeah. yeah, get off of me. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. That's interesting. So now, now in retrospect... You'd always blamed your lack of affection, cuddling on being hot. Mm-hmm. I'm hot. I'm hot. Tom's hot. Tom's hot. <laughs> Is it that you just don't want the intimacy? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. But I'm getting better. Much better. Especially since you broke your arm and your leg and you're not able to move away as quickly. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and I yeah. come to you for a love and That's you're true. like, you can't get away. I'm overall just sweeter since my accident. I know. It's kind of been a good thing for you. I hate to say it. Yeah. You've sweetened up. A lot. You've had some epiphanies. Mm-hmm. It's just grounded you more. Yeah. You should do this every year. Okay, every five years. No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. This is weird. Okay. Okay, I'm Brittany. It's Brittany Spears. Ooh. Okay, I'm okay. I'm just letting you all know I'm okay. It's another gap model, huh? It's, it's free Brittany. And I don't talk about this normally. I can't over here. It's raining in the background. <laughs> okay. I, I, can we depth so out of this one? She can astral project Marilyn Monroe, Britney Spears, Michael Jackson. I mean, mm. I guess you guys aren't interested in hearing what celebrities nah. have to say. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird that she yes, can channel. Yes, she can do living people because she can channel their spirits and even their lives. She yeah. Can astral. Only a fucking idiot would not know that. Dumb, dumb. God. How do you not know that? Get Catholic. You know that. <laughs> it's true. Do you ever look at an old lady and think she's cute? Yeah. Never? Ever, ever? Why? Old lady ain't cute. I like him. Yeah. That was awesome. Well, and to also, I, I, at first I was like, geez, but then I was like, Nobody looks at old men either right. and thinks they're cute. Right. So No, sometimes but they go, He's cute like what a sweet old man. Yeah, but you don't want to fuck him. No, I know I'm saying, on... but they they do say, Oh, he's like, you know, a nice cute. old man. Yeah, they'll say he's cute. But, but not think, Yeah. That's but that's kind of you know, I think about that. Like, what if you're old as fuck like him? He's super old. And he's just like miserable. I think you are at that age, no? Yeah, I know, but he and then she's like so are people your age attracted to you? No. <laughs> Who do you find attractive? People 40 years younger than me. Jesus. You have to go on those websites and have older man, younger woman sex. Yeah. You have to get into porn to get laid, basically, right? At Pretty that cool. Age. Which is like, that's the time to do it, I think. For sure. Like if, I, if I'm going to do porn, it's going to be in my late 70s. For sure. You know? You're on the way out anyways. Your kids are grown. Who and cares? then like, I'll, I'll put the porn out and then... <laughs> People will watch it, and then th- those people's their grandparents will be like, you know, he was a comedian. I used to see. <laughs> what? Yeah, he's doing what now? Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool. My girlfriend thinks I'm a poser, and I'm not a poser. I am a real emo. Emo is who I am. Cool. Uh, yeah. I just like that, that one. Really spoke to you. I bet. Yeah, because I could have so fucking seen myself making this as a teenager. But switch the word goth for emo. Yeah. Like to be called a poser goth or a poser emo is like, it's like being called a false fucking blood. Oh man. That's you know what I'm saying? Very, like very upset. I am not. A, so woo. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a false blood dude. Like I, I'm not a fucking weekender dude. Like I ride goth air day. You goths don't want no wreck. Yeah. How dare you? I'm about that fucking life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I I'd bet. be. So, I would be so mad if someone dared to call me a well, fucking poser. Well, he's very upset. Yeah. He's very upset. That's why I liked it. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Today is Tuesday. It's really nice out here. I went back to work like I told you. 
and I'll be getting off pretty soon at 1 30 to go home and cook dinner. I like to be rest, but I know I got to cook dinner. But I'll talk to you later. Okay. Captain, Captain Marcel. Marcel. Yeah. It's she's been a long back. Time. So she's been um experimenting in her talks more with music and such. So I uh, and duetting people with musical things. So, you know, but she hasn't been talking so much directly to the camera. So this was a rare find for Captain Marcel. Yeah. Hello, this is Captain Marcel. My sister went down. I'm going down to the mountain to save my sister. Tell everybody I'll be back. I need it back up. I'll see you later. Bye. Got to gotta save my sister. Bye. I'm gonna save my this sister. is Captain Marcel. Bye bye. Now this is the <laughs> this is the talk that Danny Brown got hooked on. Yeah. This is the one he credits for yeah. getting sucked into. And there's daytime. our own Captain Marcel right there. There she is. Yep, laying on the couch. <laughs> Hey, Captain Marcel. Did you get your sister? Cool. Yeah. My plan is that I will be pilot and I will help everyone. Pilot. Yeah, he's the pilot. Great. <laughs> I just like the subtitles when they subtitle them uh, badly. Great. Grape. <laughs> I'll never chase a man, but if he has a beard and tattoos. A bitch might just power walk. I'm halfway there. Yep. I got a beard. Could have had her. Could get some ink this weekend. Yeah, this is one of those jokes that floats around and then, you know, like all the people do them. A bitch might power so walk. So horrible, yeah. yeah. It's like a ready-made joke. You think I could get her? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Hmm. God, she would love you. She would eat your scrum, no problem. First date? First date scrum. Dude... You do not even have to take her out. You could just show up at her house and lift your leg up on her sink. Oh man, that's pull your pants down, put your leg up, and go eat it. And she'd be like, "Thank you for being here." I'm so turned on. I'm so turned on. Oh. Look at my boyfriend, Masha Go. Look at him kicking. Oh yeah, look at him go. Look at him kicking. Look oh, at him go. Wow. <laughs> he is the best kicking back. Awesome and magnificent. Just look at him go. Oof. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at him go. Is that Kung Fu? I think he's a black belt. I just, I'm just saying, it looks like he studies martial arts. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. He's wearing those shorts at the right height, too. <laughs> Just like those uh, those ads you got. <laughs> those hygienes. Yeah. <laughs> what? I yeah, think those, it's great that he's like, athletic. They look like that. <laughs> it's a really cool, it's a really cool display of his talent. He did, he did. Yeah, yeah. I know. Good for him. He's athletic. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a real head shaker for me. <laughs> I think it's funny. I mean, I don't I don't know. What's going a, on there, bud? Yeah, it's a rabbi joke. It looks like they're just respecting their elders over there. Mm. I don't think anyone can understand what that guy just said. <laughs> really? You didn't, you didn't make any of it out? I don't think so. I mean, that sounded like just the same sound on repeat. These guys are all in on it, right? These are orthodox? Yeah. Like, living the life. Yeah, it's just like, listen to the oldest guy, and then as soon as he goes, then it's our turn. Wow. Mm. Yeah, and even in the background, they're, they got the menorah out twenty like all year long? Well, yeah, there's a menorah that you do every week, and there's a Hanukkah that you do once a year on Hanukkah. Oh. oh. So the gotcha. menorah you can do every week. Mm -hmm. It has one less, like Hanukkah has eight branches, like right. eight candles, mm -hmm. and then one to light it, and then a menorah has one less than that. Seven. Wow. Seven. So for the Each seven, day of the week. And you just light it? Mm-hmm. Does that have nice. any significance, or just that it's a new day? It's just nice. Okay. All I right. don't know about the, the straight-up significance. You do this every week at home? <laughs> yeah, because I practice tradition, and I, I am a good Jay. <laughs> Such a terrible Jay. Well, I was Wait. hoping you could translate the joke. I was wondering what a good <laughs> rabbi joke. I mean, you could try play it again. I'll see if uh, if if anything clicks. What's yours? Oh, that's 
I think uh, they started a prayer, and then they wanted the old guy, like, oh, you want to take it on? And then he just kind of starts muttering, and then they're like, <laughs> he can't do it. He can't do it. Yeah. That's oh, how I'm reading it. He's so fucking old. Oh, yeah. sad. Yeah. And they listen to that guy? Man. Well, they should stop listening to him immediately. They're going to get to the very last bit of this here, mm. and he's going to pass, and he's going to be like, oh, should have been Catholic. All right, let's see this next <laughs> here oh man why are you doing this i don't know why what's happening i don't know why he did that but I that has to that. hurt so bad so oh man here Good thing is to do it right away. See, there's no like, he's like, just right away. He's like, pull that back. <laughs> His scream is pretty good. Yeah, though. they cut it there. They just cut it, huh? How do they not let these play out? It's TikTok, man. That's the beauty of it. You want to know the whole story, but you can't. <laughs> All sales are final. All sales are smart and final. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's the talk, dude. It doesn't make fucking sense. That's why yeah. it works, dude. Yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Uh, Store.ymastudios.com for the merch. Christina P. Online for her tickets. TomSeguro.com for mine. We hope to see you out there. We're so excited that we get to do some dates again. Yep. So fun. It's been great. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, listening. We'll see you next week. This is <laughs> What a Pig by <laughs> Clarity Beats. I have no problem swallowing. Okay, you come, you come. Let me see, let me see how much you come. Let me, let me see all that jump. Okay, well, you, you just uh, let me have it right now. I want, I need it. I need it right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh I can feel it. Mm. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. Please continue to watch more. You can see all these where my hand's gesturing. You can click on those. And please subscribe if you have not yet. And subscribe button, and then we'll get your money. Thanks.